Hi guys, on this video series, I want to answer a very common question that I hear all the time. And that is, how do I know if I'm actually contracting my stomach? I've worked with literally hundreds of patients and you would be surprised at how many of them do not know if they are actually contracting their stomach. They're doing something down there, but they're not really sure. And this is really important because we all do a lot of core exercises. We know we're supposed to have a strong core, but if you don't know how if you don't know if you're actually contracting your stomach, how do you know if you're getting anything out of your core exercises? So after I teach you how to contract your stomach, I'm also going to break down how to take what you've learned in contracting your stomach and put it into doing a plank because a plank is just a very common core exercise that a lot of people do and there's a lot of variations. So stay tuned. I can't wait to teach you this and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Okay, so when I tell somebody to contract their core, there's really only three things that ever happen. One is either they suck in, two, they either bear down, or three, they actually brace their stomach, which is the correct way to do it. So let's break down those three things and see which one you're doing. First thing you might be doing is just sucking in, pulling your belly in. You'll feel your ribs flare out. This is not contracting your core. The second thing you might be doing is bearing down. This is using your diaphragm just to build up a lot of pressure in your stomach and you'll feel your belly push out like there's a bowling ball in there. The correct way to contract your stomach is to do an abdominal brace where you're actually contracting the abdominals. So just to review, sucking in, bearing down, and the correct way is bracing. Tomorrow I will show you how you can start to brace and get a proper stomach contraction. Okay, so if you're not abdominally bracing, this is how I teach my patients to do it. Down on your back, bring your knees past your hips, lift your head and press hard into your knees. You should immediately feel like your stomach muscles are getting very hard. Go ahead and check with your fingers and press. That is how hard your stomach should feel when you are abdominally bracing correctly. Practice doing this and you know that you will have it perfected when you are able to make your stomach muscles that hard while just laying flat and without holding your breath. Another thing that helps my patients is to get them to do a nice hearty laugh. A ha 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 type of laugh usually works the best. Check back with me tomorrow and I will show you how to take your abdominal brace and make it really work hard while doing the plank. Okay, now that you are bracing effectively, let me start to break down the plank for you. The best way to start learning a plank is to start out in the kneeling position. The next part of this video I've slowed down just a little bit and this is the part where you're going to use your abdominal brace. So what you will see is I can sort of tuck my rear end under and slowly arch my back as I contract my abdominals. When you are contracting your abs correctly it should look like this with just a slight arch in my back and squeezing as hard as you possibly can. While holding that squeeze then open up your hips and move into this position and this is your first step at doing a plank. But be careful not to go too far as I am showing here. When you do that you will start moving more into your back muscles and not working your stomach muscles as effectively. So tuck and move into the plank position as shown. Tomorrow I will show you how to transition from kneeling into the full plank. And now here is what a full plank should look like. From the kneeling plank, you're going to move into the full plank position. So you start out by basically doing a kneeling plank and then you push directly up into the full plank position. Notice I still have that little arch in my back and my butt tucked under. Now if your plank starts to look like this where your back is dropping down, that's not correct. So it should look like this and not like this. And again, just like this, squeezing your stomach as hard as you can and not like this. Doing it on the ball is too hard. Still try doing it on something elevated, but more stable. Okay, so that was a lot of information in a pretty short amount of video. So if you have any questions, please let me know. As always, there's a little bit of variability depending on the person and some people lead a little more help, a little more education to do this stuff correctly. But I hope you learned something and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.